Hey guys, it's Ace Markin, and today, fun fact about me, we're going to be learning about the zodiac signs. I love zodiac signs, That's what, that was the fun fact. Okay, so, downstairs a little construction is happening right now, so if you hear like a chainsaw, hold on, a chainsaw noise, I'm really sorry, I'm, I, I need to make a video, and it's not really my dream to have people cutting my kitchen floor open, but you know what? You can't always get what you want. So anyways, I'm really, I really apologize for that noise. It's really not, not good. So I'm going to be reading characteristics about the 12 zodiac signs, so you guys can learn a little something about something or another. So we're going to start with Aries. Aries is the ram that is from March 21st to April 19th. I forgot what the months were. As the first sign of the zodiac, Aries likes to be first in everything. A natural born leader, the fearless ram is able to get things going in an instant and is willing to try anything. Although this sign sometimes takes on more than can be accomplished. Aries people are extremely dynamic and energetic, and they have to constantly keep busy. They are also a very charismatic sign, with the ability to easily attract others with their personal magnetism. Aries people are often the most exciting among family members with their engaging charm and their daredevil personalities. They are frequently called up to resolve family problems because they have a knack for leadership and for getting everyone going in the same direction. As parents, they are be strict disciplinarians. Aries children are known to give their parents quite a few gray hairs, and with their siblings they are competitive, but they love them deeply. In all of their relationships, Aries people are a force of dynamic energy. Whether male or female, Aries does not take no for an answer when it comes to romance. When they meet an attractive potential partner, Aries doesn't play games. They are straight shooters and won't play hard to get. By cultivating a softer approach, Aries' true strength and fine character will be more noticeable. Many Aries people, therefore, tend to rush into relationships, and they may experience more than one marriage throughout their lives. Nothing can stop an ambitious Aries who is intent on achieving a career goal. This is a very driven sign. Along with the drive, Aries people will work hard to get what they want. Aries is not all about hard work, though. Aries is also a dreamer. They tend to dream big, too. They often reach straight for the stars. Nonetheless, their drive and hard work allow them to often get exactly what they're aiming for. In business, Aries is savvy and shrewd and often winds up living the high life. Many corporate leaders are born under this self-motivated sign. Cool. I don't trying to think if I know any Arieses, but I, Aries is... I don't think I do. I don't think so. Taurus is next. I've dated multiple Taurus men, and I... They say it's compatible with my sign, but I don't see it. So let's get into Taurus. Because they are practical and reliable, Taurians place a very high value on stability and security, both material and emotional. Taurus people are very faithful can easily transform into an infuriated bull. I forgot to tell you, it's the bull and it's from April 20th to May 20th. Because they have a tendency to be too conservative, Torians would be wise to learn to accept new ideas and adjust to new situations. And although bulls can be extremely stubborn, it's that incredible determination that helps them to achieve their goals. The Torians' kind heart, stable temperament, and constant devotion will always make their relationships very fruitful. That is a lie. Steady and sturdy, the bull is often the one member of the family that everyone turns to when they need support or assistance. Taurus is kind and reliable and always there when needed. As a parent, the Taurus is able to maintain a very even and low-key tone, which often reassures, which offers reassurance and stability to their children. The Taurian child relates to parental figures in much the same way, with consistent support and appreciation. A major difference comes in the sibling relationship. When there is more often of a competitive vibration, but when all is said and done, this is a loyal sign that cheers on and encourages. Siblings
things when they need a shoulder to cry on or inspiration to move forward. The big strong bull can be shy and withdrawn when it comes to romance. Despite the appearance of bravado and self-confidence, Taurus people can be somewhat insecure when it comes to love. They are most drawn to outgoing people who make their feelings obvious. That way, the bull can feel self-assured of the other person's feelings. When Taurus marries, it is often for better or for worse. This is someone who will stick by a partner other areas of life, Taurus is very steady and reliable at work. This person is the one the boss can count on to get the job done, but because Taurus people lack confidence at times, they may not aim as high as possible and often settle for less than what can be achieved. Taurus needs to constantly maintain the goal of high self-esteem to achieve a worthy role in the workplace. And that is Taurus. Next is Gemini. Gemini. I know a few Geminis, one of my best friends is Gemini is from May 21st to June 20th. And that's this, their picture is the twins. Geminis are often mentally gifted and quite, oh, sorry, and quite well informed. They always try to gather as much information as they can, which in turn helps them to more easily adapt to any situation. Quick-witted and smart, the twins quickly become the center of attention in any gathering. This is true same time they tend to be not the most emotionally stable sign and can be very moody and change their opinions rapidly if the gemini's can train themselves to always follow through and be more consistent they can significantly improve their understanding and relationships with others ruled by mercury gemini is here there and everywhere and that often drives other family members a bit crazy this is a hard person to pin down and this side may not always show up at family gatherings as planned but when gemini shows up this individual is often the life of the party keeps everyone entertained. As a parent, Gemini needs to always make a point to be consistent since it is this sign's nature to flit from one interest to the next and so may not be as unswerving as possible when it comes to parenting, but that can be corrected with self-discipline. As a child, Gemini doesn't always achieve the closeness with parents that they would prefer because even as children, people of the sign are off pursuing their own interests. As a sibling, there is quite often a lot of rivalry because Gemini is an achiever and often outshines and outwits brothers and sisters who aren't as fast thinking or ambitious. The Gemini person may love deeply, but this merc- mercurial sign doesn't always show it. Sometimes this leads to miscommunication among lovers, and if not attended to, it can be a downfall of the relationship. <sighs> Gemini people need to make a constant conscious effort to let their lovers know how, how they feel and to do the little things that mean so much and that show caring and nurturing. The Gemini person is going in many directions at the same business, Gemini often has many things going at once in the form of new businesses or investments. When employed by someone else, Gemini is always on the lookout for the next great opportunity. This single-minded determination often leads to great financial success. That is Gemini. Let me text my phone back. She said, are you at my house? I said, no. Okay, next is Cancer. My mama is a Cancer. And Cancers are very, they're water signs, so they're pretty emotional, I believe. The grab, and it's from June 21st to July 22nd. Cancer, the moon child, usually has a very conservative and home loving nature. Like its mascot, the crab, Cancer often likes to hide in its shell, finding inner comfort at home and making its house its most beloved fortress. <sighs> Cancerians are very protective of their loved ones. They can be both shy and outgoing. They are very strong willed and they like to get everything done in their own way. Cancerians need to learn to balance their emotions because they often tend to be overly sensitive and moody because they feel everything very deeply. Of all the signs, Cancer is probably one of the most devoted to family and family-like relationships. Cancer is sensitive and nostalgic and lives to enjoy family and friendship. Although there may be a lot of emotional trauma when there is a moon child in the family, this person is usually someone that everyone turns to for soft touch and kind encouragement. As a parent, Cancer is loving and devoted, and the parents of a moon child children are loved to the moon and back by them. As a sibling, these kids are often the mediators, smoothing over conflicts and bringing everyone together. The moon child loves deeply and forever. Sensitive and sweet, this is someone who usually remembers every birthday, every anniversary, and every special occasion of any kind. Cancer is loyal, loving, and sensitive to the needs of a significant other, but can be quite shy when it comes to public displays of affection. 
It may take a while for the cancer to decide to marry, but once it happens, it is usually for life. Cancerians are often highly financially motivated and quite adept at maintaining a budget and getting ahead with savings. The moon child's career is very important because it is a way to achieve the security they yearn for financially and personally. And this is also a dedicated employee who is trustworthy, hardworking, and eager to please. As a business owner, people born under the sign treat the business like part of the family, always nurturing it and staying on top of what it needs to remain successful. Okay. Next is Leo. Leo is the lion from July 22nd to August 22nd. I don't normally get along with Leos. Not gonna lie. Sorry if you guys can hear that. I really do have a really bad headache from this construction. Okay, as one of the most great. themselves as the king or queen of the universe, but they need to learn to tame their pride and to be less concerned about appearances. Leos love to give without asking. That's because they always assume their gift is truly needed. As a natural born leader, Leo can become a great inspiration for others. Fiercely loyal and protective of loved ones, the lion is proudly devoted to each and every member of the family. This sign is often the leader when it comes to family matters. Strong, loving, and regal, this person is always conscious of making everyone proud. When the Leo has children, those children are treated like little kings and queens, often pampered to the point of being almost spoiled, and the parents of a Leo are often treated in much the same way because Leos tend to always want to maintain and be worthy of the pride the parents have in their child's achievements. With brothers and sisters, Leo is charming and likable, but siblings may come to resent Leo's natural need to be in charge. Leo is also the king or the queen when it comes to romance, often lavishing a with gifts of flowers, candy, home-cooked meals, or whatever appeals most the object of this person's affection. If a Leo is in love, there is no doubt about it, because Leos more often than not wear their heart on their sleeve. And when you are loved by a Leo, you can rest assured that this regal beast will always be there to defend your honor and trumpet your achievements. Maybe I should date a Leo. I don't know. I haven't dated one yet. Anyone who competes with Leo in the workplace had better get out of the way because Leos are very competitive. Oh my god. And they play to win. Very driven and very smart, Leo is always on the lookout for opportunities to get ahead. Leo is the natural leader of the pack and doesn't know the meaning of the word no when it comes to earning a position that is coveted. Many Leos choose to be in position for themselves because being the king of the jungle by their nature, they don't like to answer to anyone. Okay. Next is Virgo, and I literally know zero Virgos. Virgo, Virgos. It's Virgo. I know. My back really hurts. Ow. Okay, so they're from August 23rd to September 22nd, and their picture is the Virgin. Virgo is the zodiac sign represented by the female. Virgos are therefore delicate and sensitive, yet at the same time they can be critical and picky. Virgos may appear cold as there is a tendency to hide emotions and suppress natural kindness, although deep down they are warm and loving. Virgos always pick a logical and practical approach to all aspects of life, which contributes to many of them being quite successful and independent. Although Virgos may appear cold, oh, they feel deeply. They will be glad to lend you a helpful hand if you get past the mask. This makes Virgo a very desirable friend and mate. Modest and understated, Virgo people have to take care to show those they love how they feel. These people don't like to make a scene, and so they are often quiet and even withdrawn when it comes to showing emotions. Still, steadfast loyalty and their consistent attention are appreciated by those who love them. Virgo parents are attentive but not overly demonstrative when it comes to showing the love they deeply feel. With their own parents, they were often so humble that they felt uncomfortable with too much attention or praise. Virgo siblings usually enjoy pleasant, if not distant, relationships. Still waters run deep and Virgo people are often very hard to read. That doesn't mean they don't have great balls of love to draw from. But their lovers are often left wondering how their paramour feels or what this person is thinking. Virgo is encouraged to express feelings more openly by being more demonstrative and affectionate. Learning to give and accept a higher level of nurturing will help the Virgo person enjoy more fulfilling relationships. Many Virgo people achieve great success in business, but it rarely happens overnight. They aren't susceptible to taking big risks or leaping for chancy opportunities. 
success is usually attained slowly and steadily and over a long period of time. That is the Virgo, the Virgin. Next, we're on Libra and what Libra. I know my brother is a Libra. This is from September 23rd to October 22nd. And the picture is the scales, the balance. Balance. Libras are elegant and charming with a great love of beauty and harmony. They know how to appreciate the various pleasures of life and they are naturally kind. Because they are even tempered, they can be very social and diplomatic and they are one of the most empathetic of the signs. In their everlasting search for balance, they can appear to be indecisive. The truth is that Libras load the conflicts in life and by pleasing everybody, they try to achieve peace and harmony. Libras are the ultimate team players, always functioning better when they are paired up with the right partner. Libra is often the peacemaker in any family situation. People of this sign are gifted at understanding very diverse viewpoints and seeing everyone's side of the story. They are excellent mediators and they are exceptionally good at blending in with every member of the family, understanding what makes each of them special and unique. This makes Libra very popular in family gatherings. As a parent, Libra takes great care not to favor one child over another and is therefore a balanced and respected parent. With Libra's own parents, this sign shows equal devotion and when there is a favor, it is not made obvious for fear of hurting the feelings of the other. As a sibling, Libra is attentive and compassionate, which makes him a great best friend. That's my sibling and we are best friends, but we fight a lot too. He punches me. Libra people are in love with love. That's the best way to describe their intense fascination with they fall in love easily and perhaps too often, and this sometimes leads to disappointment and disillusion. Libra needs to work at being more objective when it comes to love, viewing potential partners in a more practical way. For instance, if Libra is swept away by someone's outward appearance, they have to also stop and ask themselves if this person offers traits, interests, and characteristics that will blend well with others. Libra people are diplomatic, well-liked, and often quite popular among co-workers, bosses, or subordinates. Libras don't like work environments that involve complicated politics or chaos and conflicts. They are most at ease in a creative setting or where their talent for diplomacy and mediation can be put to good use. Oh, Libra is a great team player and resents anyone who doesn't understand the importance of the team spirit. Okay, next is my sign, which is Scorpio. If you guys didn't know, I'm a Scorpio which is from October 23rd to November 21st, and I'm born on November 20th. So I'm borderline Sagittarius, and I'm so happy I'm a Scorpio, because it's me. So, this is me, guys. Scorpio is one of the most profound and outwardly impressive signs of the Zodiac, with a very intense emotional energy that makes them stand out among peers. Their personalities are truly magnetic, yet they can be volatile and unpredictable at times, like a volcano, but that's only because they experience deep passion. Like their namesake, the Scorpion, Scorpios have sharp powers of self-defense, and when they feel cornered, they will lash out. Sometimes they get carried away with their overwhelming feelings. Just like the mythological phoenix, they burn themselves down and then they revive from the ashes. Scorpio is known for having a very strong imagination and keen intuition. To avoid a tendency toward jealousy, people of this sign need to remind themselves how much they have to offer. Scorpio people have a strong, consistent, and lasting commitment to family, and that includes long-time friends who become even though Scorpio may not see may not see family members on a frequent basis, they can always get back on track quickly and make it seem like no time had elapsed. Scorpio people are strong and independent, and as a parent, these traits set, traits set an excellent example for their children. When they are children themselves, though, those same traits may drive their own parents crazy. In sibling relationships, Scorpio people make great confidants because they know how to keep a secret. It may be hard to win the heart of a Scorpio, but once you do, you have someone you can count on for life. People of the sign feel deeply and love passionately, and once someone does them wrong, it can be hard or more likely impossible to get back into their good graces. Scorpio is also known as the sexiest sign of the Zodiac. They are very affectionate and giving lovers who believe in keeping the fire in a relationship, so if you have a Scorpio lover, get ready for a life of passion and when it comes to money and career, there is no deterring a Scorpio from meeting a goal. Scorpios are excellent at sticking to a budget, and they aren't afraid of working hard to achieve the financial status they seek. They have strong management skills, they rarely overspend or spend frivolously, frivolously and they have almost a sixth sense when it comes to seeking out good investments. Ooh. Oh, that was weird. My computer shut off. Okay, 
Okay, we have four more. Sagittarius is next. Sagittarius is from November 22nd to, to December 21st. And my dad is a Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the archer. That's the picture. Sagittarius is a noticeably restless sign with a deep love of traveling and exploring. Sagittarius people are open to anything new. This sign is all about expanding new dimensions of thought. They are perfectionists, but just like their mascot, the Sendor, who aims his arrow into the emptiness, Sagittarians may not always be sure what they are shooting at. Their mission to find perfection in everything could potentially cause them this sign some disappointment. So they need to learn to be more carefree and not judge themselves so critically. Sagittarius' positive attitude and natural curiosity help to keep them going, and they rarely give up. Sorry. Oh, my back is... My lower back. Sagittarians are always surrounded by family and friends. People of this sign love to laugh and enjoy deep conversations. Friends are almost always like family to the archer. They maintain long relationships that often last forever and date back to childhood days. Sagittarians make excellent parents. What often... Oh. When... They are energized and enthusiastic when it comes to involvement in their children's lives. They are devoted to their own parents too, often planning family outings or hosting holiday gatherings. Siblings usually gravitate to the sun as well because wherever Sagittarius is, life gets more exciting. Sagittarians are fiercely protective of their independence. Many people of this sign marry later than average because they want to experience life to the fullest before settling down. When they do choose Mr. or Mrs. Wright, they are good partners who place great emphasis on the happiness and well-being of their significant other. But even if they never marry, they tend to have long relationships that are marked by joy and good times. It's a lot of reading, guys. They often know what they want to be when they grow up from a very early age. They choose careers that they believe will be secure, well-paying, and enjoyable too. After all, they will be working long and hard and they want to get the most of their time and energy. Despite their pragmatism, Sagittarians can occasionally be risk-takers, investing in wild schemes they believe have self oh, merit. Many of the well-known entrepreneurs are Sagittarians. Three more. We are at Capricorn right now. Capricorn is from... December 22nd to January 19th, and this and it says the picture is a sea goat. I always thought it was like, a, oh, oh, it's a goat, okay. The stable, serious, and confident Capricorn is a natural goal setter who accomplishes a lot when working under definite guidelines. Capricorns, above all, love structure and order. They can be quite stubborn as well as determined and ambitious. They can be very pessimistic, melancholic, and even happy, unhappy. So they should, on a regular basis, make a point of using positive affirmations and other empowering techniques to maintain a happy disposition. They need to learn that not everything is under their control, and that it's fine from time to time to relax and to let go of their worries. Capricorns are known for having very traditional values, and this comes through best in the way they deal with family. This sign is sincere and down-to-earth, and their relationships are equally Capricorn parents are often somewhat old-fashioned, waiting up hours for their children to arrive home and influencing and guiding their par- children along after they leave the nest. Parents treasure the Capricorn child because this is someone who is hardworking in school endeavors and is always reliable and trustworthy. Sometimes with siblings, though, they're as friction as Capricorns can be jealous when attention is stolen from them. Still, Capricorn has a strong and abiding love for family. Capricorns can be hard-headed when it comes to romance sign often not, do not know when to leave well enough alone and will go to great lengths to try to mold or influence their significant others to be what they believe they should be, rather than accepting them as they are. This in turn results in conflict and Capricorn does not do great dealing with friction in relationships. Capricorn should steer clear of being too rigid or inflexible and should be open to compromise for the greater good. This sign has a fabulous potential for fulfilling relationships and can achieve them through self-knowledge. Capricorns love to learn all aspects of whatever business they are in, whether they work for someone else or they are on their own. They frequently start at the bottom of the ladder and work their way up so they can learn every nuance of their profession. Capricorns are very resourceful, detail and deadline oriented, and they tend to manage their finances very well. These traits lead, to be, lead them to be quite successful, both financially and in terms of their professional reputations. Aquarius! My best friend is an Aquarius. And this is from January 20th to February 18th. 
in the picture is water. It's just water. Aquarius has a very strong and dominant personality. Above all things, this sign seeks the truth. You guys can probably hear that annoying, annoying sound coming from below me. Above all, oh, Aquarians are tolerant to every point of view and can see both sides of an argument. They're independent from time to time and it's their nature to seek out alone time. On the other hand, Aquarians can be true extroverts. Their great desire to help humanity enables them to make friends very easily, but their high-minded personal ideals and values make them overly demanding of others. If they become disappointed in someone, they can never truly forgive or forget. They are by nature very tolerant, so they can learn to be more forgiving if they choose so. Aquarians tend to have high expectations of their friends. They seek out people who, like them, have deep integrity, are honest, and are intellectually inclined. They look for the same things in their family members, and they will form the deepest bonds with those who match this criteri criteria. Although this sign is dedicated to family, that is not a guarantee that they will form a close bond with all family members. As a parent, Aquarius expects a lot and is often a strict ta taskmaster. taskmaster when it comes to discipline and drawing the line. With an Aquarian's own parents, the bond could be extremely strong or not, depending on the level of understanding between them. The same goes for the sign's sibling relationships. If they are kindred spirits, the bond will run strong and deep. My mouth is getting really dry, sorry guys. Having a sensitive and attuned personality, Aquarians often fear of being vulnerable, and so it may take a very long time for them to open up and allow a relationship to develop. Aquarians have high standards for their romantic partners, and they set the bar impossibly high at times. Many see them as too picky, not open enough to the possibilities, but they are only that way because they place such high value on quality and integrity. But once an Aquarian's heart is open, it is a love that can last a lifetime. Aquarians often work, enjoy work that allows them to tap into and show off their intellectual powers. They enjoy learning, and so any field that involves continued learning is highly desirable. People of this sign love to develop ideas and concepts, and they are happiest when there are few restrictions they can Alright, we are on our last, but not least, sign of Pisces. I've dated one Pisces before. It is from February 19th to March 20th. And it's the fishies. Pisceans are able to adapt emotionally to any environment. Their symbol is a pair of fishes, one swimming above the other in the opposite direction. Likewise, they possess some duality in their personalities. On the one hand, they can be kind, compassionate, sensitive, and very understanding, but at the same time, Pisces people like to keep their true emotions under wraps, placing great focus on their inner journey. Pisces is very affected by environment. A warm, cozy ambience that reflects the sign's individuality makes for a happy, well-adjusted fish. But when Pisces dwells in a living situation that is less than ideal, and not a source of strength, security, and comfort, then it can significantly affect their mood and relationships. Pisces needs to create a home environment that is a safe haven to thrive and flourish. That's a priority the sign. The happy fish has excellent family relationships. As a parent, Pisces is warm, caring, and very involved. This sign is an excellent son or daughter as well. Always interested in a parent's happiness as a brother or sister, Pisces often takes the role of the confidant between siblings. Bro, can they stop doing that? It's not gonna be over for a while and it sucks because like, how am I supposed to make videos with that? Ugh. Pisces is a gentle, kind, nurturing, and highly intuitive sign. These characteristics go a long way to strengthen any romantic relationship. When Pisces' person is in love, it is all hearts and flowers. This person is great at self-expression and is very demonstrative and affectionate. In a good, strong relationship with a solid foundation, this is fabulous. But Pisces also lives to please and to be well thought of. That tendency can lead to being taken advantage of in matters of the heart when a partner does not appreciate all of which this sign has to offer. Pisces needs to work at not being impulsive in relationships. They need to take the time to really know someone before jumping into a more serious relationship. The Pisces person really needs to choose a career out of passion. A restlessness could easily set in. This creative sign has a deep need to be self-expressive through work and becomes bored quickly if that doesn't exist. Without that element, Pisces gets distracted and may wind up feeling lost. A keen imagination is the hallmark of this mystical sign to dream and to create makes this person someone who would do well in a career that does not have traditional boundaries. Okay. And that, all of that information, I got off an horoscope app. I'll tell you what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's just called Daily Horoscope, but they have a Daily Horoscope, so it's awesome. Yeah, it's just called Daily Horoscope, so all credits to them on 
on the def um, descriptions. I love reading my horoscope. I love astrology. I love signs, and I always read, you know, compatibility stuff, and some people are going to say it's not real. You know, I don't care if it's not real. I believe in it. I like it, and it interests me. So, I'm probably going to do more astrology videos in the future, but this is just to uh, get all the facts of the signs out there, right? below me. It's not making my life easy either. either.